Angelica Bell on Scala Radio. Well, hi, that is me, Angelica Bell. Well, we've still got lots coming up on Weekend Brunch. My artist of the week is a vocal powerhouse. She's also performing at Scala Radio's Classical Christmas Live. We've got another chance to hear this week's Scala session from one of the best choirs around, the 16. And I've invited not one, but two saxophone orchestras onto the show. They're based nearly 500 miles away from each other, but that hasn't stopped them teaming up to make some amazing music together. And I'm going to give you a little snippet as well. Well, it's not long until I introduce you to our two saxophone orchestras who recently got a nod from the Royal Philharmonic Society. They're my guests on the show this morning and they're going to be telling me what it's like to record music when you're based 500 miles away from each other. But you guys have proven anything is possible over the last 18 months. But before that, we've got to chat about Wednesday's Scala session. My name's Angelica Bell, and that was our amazing Scala session guests, the 16. You heard them singing Missa Cantate, Agnus Dei, alongside their wonderful conductor, Harry Christophers. And you can watch their session on the Scala Radio Facebook page. Just search for Scala Radio UK. Well, we're edging closer and closer to midday, which means I've got the Aberdeenshire Saxophone Orchestra and the Phoenix Saxophone Orchestra from Market Harbour on weekend brunch in a bit. These guys joined forces in lockdown, and I'm super excited to hear the result. Dvorak soundtracking your Sunday. Now, I'd like to introduce you now to two very special people. One of them lives in Aberdeenshire, Scotland, and the other in Leicestershire, England. Now, early this month... They were shortlisted for a Royal Philharmonic Society Inspiration Award and they're here now to tell me all about their pioneering project. So please welcome to Scala Radio, Jane Smith from the Phoenix Saxophone Orchestra and Foss Foster from the Aberdeenshire Saxophone Orchestra. I'm very excited to talk to you both today. Us too. Hi Angelica, how are you? I'm good. I'm g- oh, thanks for asking. Um, <laughs> I'm very well, very well. But I want to know all about this project and how amazing you are. So, so who's going to go first? Let's go, Jane, go on. Yeah, um, we were absolutely thrilled this year to have been nominated for a Royal Philharmonic Society Inspiration Award. It went this year exclusively to an amateur group uh, and we just got a phone call out of the blue and it was following a project that we did together, uh, which was a recording of Entry of the Gladiators, which is a piece by Julius Fuchik. And really the reason we did this was when it came to Make Music Day, which is an international celebration of music that happens on the 21st of June every year, we were still at the time when we were planning to do anything in and out of lockdown. We didn't know whether we'd be able to do anything live. So we thought, well, rather than think about what we can't do, let's think about what we can do. And so we decided we wanted to do a piece of music that was joyous, which I hope you'll agree that this piece is. And also, we'd made friends with Aberdeenshire earlier in the year uh, when they invited us along to some of their Zoom rehearsals, which really kind of set us up uh, doing Zoom rehearsals ourselves. So we thought, well, really, if you're in your kitchen or in your bathroom, it doesn't really matter if you're in Aberdeenshire or if you're in Leicestershire it's just as easy to make a piece of music and really that's that's what we set out to do and the 17 saxophone is playing on this piece of music and the tiny sopranino down to the really enormous contrabass and I think you know we've made a really great sound and we're just so thrilled that it's had such a fantastic reception which is more than we could ever have imagined. Well congratulations now Foss what was it about the Phoenix Saxophone Orchestra that made you reach out to them and join forces? Well, they they um, are also members of Making Music, which is the umbrella organisation for leisure music groups. So, and they were looking for other repertoire for saxophone orchestra because we're fairly rare birds, really. Classical music generally doesn't include us. The same Mozart missed the invention of the saxophone, or the other way round, by around about a hundred years. And when you think what amazing things he wrote for that newly invented kid on the new kid on the block the clarinet imagine the fun he would have composing for saxophones and we wouldn't be outsiders looking in we'd be mainstream orchestral instruments which is an extraordinary thing and we were utterly excited to be shortlisted for the royal philharmonic award because we were the only wind band let alone saxophones that was in that award ceremony whether 
amateur or professional. Foss, Mozart missed a trick then, really, didn't he? I think so. I think he'd have thoroughly enjoyed the <laughs> saxophone. The, the sheer versatility of the instrument, from meek and mild and beautiful to raucous and rude, he, he would have, that would have been a triumph. Which makes your award even more special. We are now going to hear the two orchestras at work. This is your take on Entry of the Gladiators. <laughs> snippet of Fuchik's entry of the Gladiators performed by the Phoenix Saxophone Orchestra and the Aberdeenshire Saxophone Orchestra. They contacted Scala to tell us about their groups and I've got Jane and Foss with me. So what's next for you guys? We're working on a joint project with a, a new young composer called Ben Lunn in conjunction with a local choir and on the back of that while we were rehearsing with Ben uh, on a piece that he gave us as a present, that's when Phoenix met us and Ben gifted them the same piece, which is called Small Suite for Saxophones. And we're going to record that online. Well, we're going to rehearse it online, do a new video of that. And in a couple of years' time, we plan to meet up for a joint real-life concert up in Scotland. I think, uh, I think it's worth saying, actually, that both of our groups are fairly new. I mean, certainly we'd only started um, in January 2020, and we'd literally had three rehearsals before we went into lockdown. So actually, the majority of our life has been on Zoom. So it was a real thrill for us to actually get back together and meet each other face to face. But it's really worked for us. I think doing those Zoom rehearsals, people were ready and had learnt the music rather than turning up, having printed them off three minutes before they uh, left the house. And also we've, we've attracted, I think, four or five new members who joined us during Zoom and who are staying with us now that we're going into live performances. We've done our first live performance and delighted to say we've just taken our first paid booking for a, a bandstand in Leicestershire next Next year, so it's all looking up for us, and the, the, having the um, Royal Philharmonic Society accreditation is has really given us a boost. As has what I know will be a lasting friendship with Aberdeenshire, which I think just opens up so many possibilities for us that we just would never even have considered had had lockdown not happened. So yeah, we really are looking forward to the future, and yeah, lots more joint projects and lots more stuff are going to come. Amazing music, bringing people together 500 miles apart. Thank you so much, Jane and Foss. You've been amazing and good luck with the future. Oh, so this is just absolutely fantastic. We're so thrilled to be being featured on, on the radio, on Scala Radio. And actually, it is my birthday today, so this is just like an extra present. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, happy birthday, Jane. Talking to us on your birthday, we appreciate that. But listen, good luck. Um, thank you for being on the show and if you'd like to feature your band, group, choir, orchestra or ensemble on Weekend Brunch you can email me, angelica at scarlaradio.co.uk Thanks guys for being here Ian Sutherland and the Philharmonic Concert Orchestra playing a blast of Chopontier and can I just say, I think Jane and Foss are just lovely very enthusiastic about their instruments and their orchestras. They did amazing things during lockdown. So if you're in a group, band, ensemble, anything, please do get in touch. I'm Angelica Bell and this is Scala Radio and you can find us on your smart speaker on DAB Radio, on the free Scala Radio app or on Sky TV channel 0216.